Good evening folks, my name is Ezra Ondara. I'm a content creator based in the city of Nakuru. I do real estate content, I do house hunting in Nakuru, and I do vlogs around Nakuru. Today is another day in the field, and uh, this real estate episode is about to showcase this three-bedroom hidden roof bungalow in Kiamoni. The house is inside a gated community here in Kiamoni. You can see the ongoing developments. I have been here before when I showcased house number one for this developer and this is house number two. House number one was taken and uh, the owner uh, lives inside, you know, it is occupied now. And uh, this is house number two which has been booked and uh, on the right there you can see we have house number three. I will take you there and then you can have a look. That one is not yet booked so maybe you can look into that one but uh, this house number two we are just going to use it you know to show you what these guys uh how they are uh, like how they do their things how they do their finishing first things first you can see from the face it is a hidden roof and uh, each house sits on a 40 by 80 plot okay 40 by 80 and you have just enough frontier there for parking and even to set up a small garden on the side and probably a gazebo as well. There are other ongoing developments on the opposite as you can see from those roof but uh, they are not the same developer however they share this gated community. Before we go inside we have this open entry porch with those outstanding stone look floor tiles just look at that they are beautiful well they are yet to be cleaned work is still ongoing here you know uh, the fundies have not left site but uh yeah that's how it is right there for now welcome to the lounge of this hidden roof bungalow now look at those floor tiles they are easy on the eyes and they are classy as well that is the space inside the lounge there now if you can spot those power sockets along the walls there we have three on that side and there's another one on that side as well now above us we have that gypsum with those uh you know recessed lighting at the corners and of course they are also installed the snake lights however they have not been connected for now and of course there is that you know main light over there we are inside the dedicated dining area you know they have done those two wall lamps on that end the tile work again it's beautiful really easy on the eyes and then of course the gypsum still continues to the to the dining area and uh, for this one the client requested the client of this home this is not the standard finishing for the developer so the client requested that they have this vanity instead of the, the normal pedestal sink so for this particular unit we have the vanity there and even for the other unit that is unfinished even for that one should you want you know those additions this is the right moment to do so also note that uh, this home is painted ash white on the walls and uh, you can see you know the way the lounge and the dining they're just open all through there is a lot of natural light coming into the rooms that is the kitchen from where we are standing okay now one thing these guys have done here is that they have provided ample space you know in the lounge in the dining area and as well as in the kitchen you can see there is a lot of cabinetry in that kitchen and uh, that space at the center there it can accommodate even a six burner gas cooker so let's have a look at the kitchen from this end you can see there is still more space you know on that side and uh, in terms of countertop space so this one is like a breakfast bar mm -hmm. 
that you have multiple power sockets again there is that one there is more going to that side and still there is another on this end okay and another one at the bottom there so you have multiple power sockets you know for your appliances and uh, ATC now you can see they did a double sink here in the kitchen which is a good addition and there is more space down there there is a lot of countertop space in general in this kitchen now from the kitchen that door it goes to the laundry the laundry again in their first project you know uh, this developer did not include this boundary this laundry room however the client for this unit requested that at least they do this addition for them and of course this one came at an extra cost the laundry and also the vanity i will show you something else that they also requested now so pulling back like that we are in the backyard that's the backyard so you still have that uh, 10,000 liter and the, the, an, another one on top there that is a 2,000 liter okay for your water storage and of course it is connected to the roof there okay remember it is a hidden roof so there are still roofs above there so you can always fetch water you can see how that gutter goes all the way to that tank yeah very well so on the opposite oh, oh there are those boxes okay <laughs> those are the ones which carried the vanity and other you know fittings for this unit so don't mind them it's not like they're a big deal okay so let's go back inside the unit and uh, we check out the other rooms so on our left we go to the guest bedrooms but uh, straight ahead that is the common bathroom okay it is separate from the toilet each one has their room i told you they have not done you know the final cleaning in this house so that you know dots of paint down there they will be cleaned you know at some point and the place will be sparkling and uh, there you have the toilet so they are in separate rooms and these ones they serve the guest bedrooms this is one of the guest bedrooms okay this is one of the guest bedrooms it is spacious it can take a five by six bed comfortably and uh, just look at that large window again when it comes to light these guys they got it right okay natural light in that case but even if if it, if it is the other light on the wall there you can see there is a nice wall lamp and of course there is a recessed bulb you know there's a recessed bulb there for more light at night now of course in terms of storage those wardrobes from top to bottom there is ample storage in there for the residents of this room for the who will be for the residents to come opposite we have the second guest bedroom this one is front facing front facing i mean from this room you can see the gate on that side all right so it is the same size as the former bedroom lighting again is very good natural lighting So now we are going to the master bedroom. It is right there on the opposite at the far end. Which is good, you know, you know, keeping the master bedroom away from the guest bedrooms. So from the door of the master bedroom, that is how that entire room looks like. And this one is slightly bigger compared to the master bedroom in their first project i don't know whether it is the client again who requested if they can add more space here this one is a lot larger Of course, 
from the master bedroom, you get to see your gate there, which is important. I was told the owners of the house, they have to be in a position where they see who's coming in and who's going out. You know, basically what's happening in their home. And that is the organization in the wardrobes of the master bedroom. This is just enough for the who will be residents of this home. So another thing the client of this home requested is to have this sliding door for their bathroom. It was not there. It is not the standard finishing for this developer. So this was a request and of course it was done at an extra cost. So you have a pedestal sink on that end and uh, on our left is where you have the shower. Okay, the shower is right there on our left and then on the opposite, on the far end on the opposite is where they have installed the toilet seat. So at least one can easily avoid having a wet toilet here. Perfect, so up to that point, we have finished the interior tour of this three bedroom hidden roof bungalow in Kiamoni inside a developing gated community. People are booking their homes here. House number one, we sold it. House number two, I'm inside, it has been booked. And now let's see what can be yours, which is on the left there. So let's just have a sneak peek of it as we conclude. Exactly, here we are. I believe it is the same concept, especially outside, but already I've noted uh, one difference here, okay? On the entry pouch, you can see it's not the same as where we just came from. Okay, so that is the lounge there. Okay, there are not as much details to show for now, but uh, this is how it's looking. And uh, this is the dining area and the kitchen. You know, the kitchen is where I think these guys win big. Okay, that, there's a lot of space in their kitchens. Okay, and the backyard there, they're even yet to install that water tank okay not too much to show here just giving you a feel of the plan which i believe it is the same mm -hmm. those door for the common toilet and common bathroom and uh, one of the bedrooms on this side and uh, the other bedroom on the opposite side that one Yep, more or less the same. And uh, the master bedroom is on this side. Mm -hmm. Quite spacious as well. Exactly, so you see like that one, they have already done their standard door. Okay, that is their standard finishing. So they'll do that, uh, you know, wooden door, but uh, for the client on the other side, like we said, they requested that they have a sliding door. So even for this unit, this is like the perfect moment, you know, for you to come and uh, ask them to make some changes. Of course, upon booking, okay? They won't just do it. You have to book so that we know now we have a customer. And then uh, you can tell them even the paintwork you want outside probably you know, they can change all that. What else can they change? They can do that vanity. A few changes here and there upon your request can be made. So this one is work in progress. The other one is also work in progress, but almost complete, almost complete that one. The client is expected to assume in that home mid next month, which is mid April. Okay, the client is expected to move in there. So there's a lot of cleaning to be done. And uh, yeah, some other tiny, tiny details to be completed. And then uh, the owner will assume 
the home. So this is a developing gated community. You can see there are still materials here. So this one, this is the, the driveway, okay? This is the driveway and it is quite wide. You know, it is a two-way traffic. It is a two-way traffic, okay? Back to the home, back to where we were. At least, yeah, you can see. This one is way ahead. So in terms of paintwork, outside they did that white and then uh, the, the blocks on the background, uh, they have done that uh, ash gray. My number is on the screen, call me, I'll bring you here. You can book your unit and also you can come and just see the progress here, especially for that last unit there. Just come and uh, tell us, how do you want us to finish your home? Otherwise, it will be finished and it will be sold as it will be. Thank you very much. Subscribe to Ezra Ondara TV. I do real estate content in Nakuru. I do house hunting in Nakuru and I do vlogs around Nakuru. Make sure to watch Nakuru Beyond the City and especially today since we are in Kiamonyi, go to that Nakuru Beyond the City episode of Kiamonyi and uh, learn more about Kiamonyi. Thank you.